Because your password blocks your phone. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Hollywood Uh, this, this thing dies after like 30 minutes for the screen share so I'm being very strategic uh, so we gotta get straight into it this is huge guys okay so welcome so uh, I'd say you're not alone uh, hi <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so welcome um, I want to go over something real quick so um, yeah so basically uh, we got a couple more videos we're uploading. We are getting more into the, the what we call the upskirt or discovering the foundation of this whole, uh, what we call the, the Derek Huff aftermath um, of the root of the meeting. So we're going into the cover story, uh, the cover story of what they could pitch. And there's a bunch of things they could pitch sort of. There's a limit to what they could but there's infinite ways to describe it. So the reason why I have to go over this is because I'm using this as a chance to show the artist seduction and the artist separation, which is the Babylonian dark arts. So we're going to use straight out scripture where God teaches it through the first book, the original book ever written, which was the um, book of Job. So, um, but I want to describe this first. Before we get into the scripture, this, describing it is... Uh, uh, that they're going to they always virtue signal first like Derek could relate uh, going to the Trevor Project 2012 which is a suicide prevention thing in honor of Katy Perry um, it's a suicide prevention for gays that you know feel suicidal for being gay and all that stuff because you know all the bigotry and everything right so Derek had someone die uh, commit suicide when he was 15 in his family although it was not over sex orientation he can relate so so my thing is, is like, okay, so since Derek's so passionate about that, uh, what does Derek get out of it? Oh, it's just a virtue thing, right? I get nothing out of it. Well, we have footage where he was up on stage. So that means someone hooked him up to public speak. So uh, he public speak. He can relate because he has someone die. Okay, cool. That's the, that's the story they're going to, that's the cover story. Now, a cover story is where you cover your own butt and that's you... So the way a story works is a wheel or a line. Depends if you're going linear or circular, but that line has many points, many talking points, many viewpoints, many standing points, meaning those are different uh, points in the conversation that you can bring up about the whole situation or the whole matter at large, right? So you say, yes, those things are true and they're very virtuous that he can relate to the suicide, that yes, it was in honor of Katy Perry and his prevention. He has to work with, you know, choreographers that so happen to be gay and he was invited by a gay choreographer and he met a, a month before, that was in December, he met a month before that at the Hollywood Dance Board, right? I was there when they met. It was, like I said, it was an awkward kind of meeting. They were sitting like this. They weren't like facing each other. They're like, talk like this, sit like this for the longest time ever, right? So if we know from, you know, DMX says, it's always a, a, a what, what does he say? It's a what? It's a, a, it's, it's, it's a give, 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 uh, give for give. Give for, give, favor, for favor. favor for favor. It's a favor for favor, right? I'll hook you up and don't worry, you're going to be a star, right? And so let's just come over. Uh, now here's what they won't show you, the meeting. The, uh, the intent. What does Derek get out of it? Well, he gets publicity. His sister, you know what I mean, is, is now in a movie and stuff. Where's, where's he going? And who else on Dancing with the Stars got to go to the next level? Not too many people. Only these two. And, and you know, there's an agenda for why these two. So they were picked out of everybody. Not too many people went anywhere else uh, to this level but these guys. That, and, and so to say that, okay... So you're saying that there was no deal, or meaning you're in that neck of the woods in Hollywood that doesn't do any of that Illuminati stuff. You're just in that one small little section that 
everything's about you know virtue and ethics and you guys have all that you're squeaky clean right okay I, I don't think so what's that he's the boy in the bubble yeah he's the boy in the bubble yes yeah so the well right so I'm, I'm saying this not in opposition to him I'm saying this for whoever's backing him is going to back him and counter of my videos I don't think he's going to come against me. I think whoever's helping him is going to come against me. And I think he wants help. And I'm going to give him help whether he's listening or not, which I believe he is. But, uh, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to say how to get help. Uh, and this, it's all in the scripture. And it's what the Spirit of God led me to today. Um, I've been running on low sleep and the Spirit of God's working me. I'm, I'm in overtime this week on all this case because we're in a season we're riding a wave now from the time that the word went forth to, from the time that it goes forth it says uh, from the time that it goes forth it shall take you it's in Isaiah 28 from the time that it goeth forth the word went forth because I spoke it I spoke everything you know I had dreamt it uh, I, I know it's coming I know what the, the intent was I know what the agenda was and I know what he, he wants out of it, and God wants to help him. Uh, he just has to take hold of his covenant. This is what Derek has to do. He has to take hold of his covenant, and he has to break ties because he's got to get out of the hand of the enemy. The hand of the enemy is both to twofold, internal and external. The external is meaning you're, you work for them. You're, under, in their, in, you're in contract with them, right? The internal is almost worse because it's got stones on the inside of you, uh, uh, breaches in your system where you open up doors to hell, where demons can now move up and down to and fro in the midst of you, and you carry that dark cloud with you, right? And wherever you go, the demons go, and they tell on you. <laughs> and so they'll go, Pew! and all of a sudden a thought will come into the master that's controlling this whole thing on the, the external contract and they're going to make sure that you do not lead their hand because if you lead their hand to become opposition and you're powerful enough to get a word out there and tell they're going to off you and make it look like an accident so that's why i said i think his life's in danger uh and he can't speak up out who can you tell who all can you really tell because who can you trust you know what i mean like they they set they hit they set him up from the beginning to look like errol flynn you know what I mean? So it's it, it was it was like when you know the dark arts, you plot from the beginning. It's chess, and so uh, this ain't some weird conspiracy stuff. This is straight out of the Bible. And let me show you. So we're going into that right now. Um, we have about seven minutes in. Okay, so here's what I want to show you. It's out of Job, chapter three, and I'm gonna start with this one. Wherefore is light given to him that is in misery, and life? Unto him, uh, unto the bitter in soul. This is the root, the real start, which longs for death, but it comes not, and digs for it more than for hid treasures, which rejoice exceedingly and are glad when they can find the grave. So, in essence, why is light given to him that's in misery and in misery when they can find the grave? Meaning, like. Why give why give answers to anyone that's just miserable when you can just when you can just uh, die? We can just die. So sorry, it's my phone's delayed. You can just die and just get out of your misery by de death. You're going to be you're bitter, you're miserable. But here's the thing: the answer is light is in him was life. Life is the opposite of death, which is death is connected to death is connected to the grave, right? So. You have to dig right now. The answer is you got to dig to be given life. To dig is to seek. Seek him with your whole heart. You will find him. God uh, is like you got, he's hidden, like a hidden treasure. You know, and you have to find that hidden treasure. So, why, wherefore is why? Why is light given to him that's in misery and life? Because life is light. In him was life, and that life was light of men. That's uh, John chapter 1, unto the bitter in soul. When you're bitter in misery, and I'll have to say this because Ecclesiastes 8, 6 has a tie to that word misery. Uh, it says, uh, a man is miserable because he knows not, he knoweth not what shall be. Meaning, you're going to be miserable if you don't know what's going to happen to you. Am I going to live? Am I going to die? Are they going to hurt me? What are they going to do? I'm miserable. This is, this is the, the thoughts that's going to be in his head. 
This is what I saw in the dream. How can I get out of this? You need light, you need life. Like a whole right side of my body is lighting up right now because I know, because he posted something that says, you know, well, I won't say it. Um, I won't say it, but um, here's what I will say. We got to go back on it. So, yeah. Um, so, bink, bink. Dang, I need the light. Okay, it's all right. So, yeah, we all need the light, right? So, um, mm-hmm. so it says um, right here, why is light given to a man whose way is hid? So here, here it goes. Why is light given to a man whose way is hid? This right here is one we're going to focus on. This one right here. So it goes, why is light given to a man whose way is hid and whom God hath hedged in? So people read this like this. Why is light given to a man whose way is hid? Meaning man's way is hidden from him. Like he doesn't know where he's going. So why is light given to him? Right? And whom God has hedged in. Because God will hedge you in. Right? God's going to hedge in your ways. And so why is light given to a man who God has hedged in? And we know Job was in a time of trouble. Job, Job had the curse on him. Job was in a time of trouble. The curse came. It was devouring him. He's like, like his friends were sent to him. The, you know, this is how people read it. Like to give him light. Like why is light given to a man? Why just go to the grave and die? Even his his wife said, curse God and die. Like well, just curse God and die. It's easier, right? You do not want to die. You need your body. This is, this is the gospel. You cannot lose your body. You need it. Because what you built on the inside of you is a seven-level progressional model, either of darkness or of light. There's a scale that you wear it. What you are wearing now, when you lose your body, you are in that infrastructure on the other side. You are in that room. You need to climb up. If you are not born again, number one, if any man it says any man calls upon the Lord shall be saved. Call upon the Lord. This is number one light to look up. To call upon God, say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come help me. Help me. I break my covenant with hell and with death. I disannul my vows. Help me, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Spirit, come. Fill me up. And, and, and I believe you died for me on the cross. That you bore my sin. You carried my sicknesses. You, you bore my diseases. And I believe you did that, and I confess you as Lord with my mouth, and it shall be done. You shall, if, if for a man, with a man's heart, he believes but, uh, unto righteousness, but the, with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation, meaning you got to believe it. If, but no man can call Jesus Lord but by the Holy Spirit. So you have to believe it in your heart, confess it with your mouth, then you're internally His inside your spirit. But now you need filled with the Holy Ghost to speak with other tongues. It's the second part to it. It's where the Holy Spirit comes upon you that you can cast out devils. And God will send His angels. You've got to build a Wi-Fi network for angels to come and order your steps because there's an escape route that has to be made. Because without the angels, you are in the dark. So you need angels. That's the second part. And you've got to get filled with the Holy Ghost and speaking in other tongues. So looking up to heaven, building that, it's a little harder to get, but just as easy to get if you believe in your heart with it and confess mm-hmm. it with your mouth. That's the second part. Third part, you got to form chords with, with not just anyone that calls themselves a Christian. There's people I know, like people like, you know, uh, these Christian bands that say they're Christians, and I'm sure they are, but they're weak. You got to have, a, you have to outstrengthen your enemy, meaning if if you just got out of the hand of the enemy internally because you just got born again because the Holy Spirit came inside you, even if the Holy Spirit came upon you, you still are a baby. You're weak. You need to get stronger because you need to know how to use your authority. And with when you're weak, you're still weary. You're still miserable. You're still a little bit bitter, and uh, and and and. and grief and sorrow still have a hold of your soul because you need to now pass the tests and you need to now uh so sometimes we have to flee from these situations which is very hard um this is why like dave Chappelle tried to run i won't get too much of it but here's the next part so here's what it is so 
So some people read this, why is light given to a man whose way is hid? It's not that this is a double bridle. What's a double bridle? It's what they're going to use for a counter. It's where, okay, like Katy Perry, who, who, the Bon Appetit video. No, no, it's not about uh, eating flesh and ca cannibalism. That's weird, right? It's about like art, but it's, you see, the massaging, she's in a sauna and like she's being massaged and blah, blah, blah. It's a double bridle, meaning it has two meanings. The double bridle comes from uh, uh, Satan's rebellion. It's how you cut off Messiah. It's the art of separation. It's the right hand art of separation. The left hand art of seduction is to turn you out the way. So you got to separate yourself from God first. And then they got to place the abomination that make us desolate. Meaning you got to put the image of the beast in you where you look like the world. That's why they're using Derek to push that image to where he's building a bridge. So they're trying to build a bridge to go down darker to make, make it about like, you know, we need to protect God. God so loved the world, God protect gays. Okay, God so loved the world, but gays need to repent. And it's not gay, it's homosexual. Gay means happy. So you're not straight, you're crooked. So you got to repent, right? If you, if you did homosexual things, you got to repent and break those covenants. You got to get back in the way. You got to remove that stone of emptiness out of your heart. It's, it's in your soul too. Like even if you're born again, you still set, up in, you set the infrastructure up in you. You got to remove it because you pollute the sanctuary of strength. Because God is your strength. He's in the temple of, of your heart and of your soul and of your, of your body. So you got to uh, clean the temple. The way you purge and cleanse is you separate and you sanctify. You forget the things that are behind. You look to things which are before. You have to make a decision. You have to look up. You have to look up and, you, and that's what you have to clean your ways. And, and if you walk in the light as he is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from all sin. Okay, so now here's the double entendre. They'll say, no, it's not really about, uh, back to that, the, the double entendre is here. Watch this. The do, like, it's a double meaning, double bridle. Here, look. And God was writing it in the scriptures to teach us how it works. He wrote it this way. Why is light given to a man whose way is hid? Whose whose? And whom God hath hedged in? God will hedge you in. God does not hedge you in. He does and he doesn't. The shadow of death, which comes when you sow towards the flesh, you reap corruption. The way that reaping happens or that harvest comes inside your countenance round about you. It fills up with a smoke. Inside that smoke is locusts. That's devils. It's in the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ. And so you got to get that you have to diminish or uh, uh, vanish or you have to make it fade away by forget. And you have to, by your eyes rising up and remember the Lord, you have to forget your old ways. You, you can't walk out there in flesh. So here's what it is. It, it says, so is light given to a man? His, man's way is hid. Uh, man needs to find his way. So that's not what that's saying. Whom God has hedged in, God's hedged in man. No, that's not what that's saying. Because uh, man will be hedged in sort of by the shadow of death. It all works by a hedge. He used the word hedge here. Watch this. Uh, it'll make sense right now. Why is light given to a man whose way, whose and whom is double? Meaning you can read this two ways. You can read this for the true answer, or you can read it the Pharisee way, which is the art of separation. The way the Pharisees read the religious people in the churches, how they, they uh, read, uh, they uh, change the interpretation of the scriptures. Here's how it was changed. It was changed what I just said. You know, God hedges your ways in and your way is hidden, man's way is hidden from him. So that's why light's given to him. That's not what that's saying. That's one interpretation, the real interpretation. Why is light given to a man whose way, light's way, who, light is a who. Light is God. Why is God given to a man who God's ways are hid why are God's ways hid? Because they try to hide God from you by changing the interpretation of the scriptures. They hide the light. You can hide the light. You can hide the truth because once you get true infrastructure, the light comes. Once you understand the true teachings of Jesus Christ, you start operating God's hand and his presence comes and his protection comes and his hedge of light comes. Because here it is. It says, here it is, why, why is light given to a man whose way is hid and whom God hath hedged in? God will hedge you in with light. 
So why is light given to him that is in misery? Because life will beat death. If you long for death, you will find the grave. We mean long. You can't, like as a deer pants for water, so my soul longs for you, O God. You have to long for God. But no man can come to God lest the Father draw him. Holy Spirit, I pray right now that you would draw in Derek, that you draw him in and that you would uh, send a hedge about him. I pray, God, that he lifts his heart up to you. He lifts his soul up to you. He lifts his hands up to you. He bows his knee to you and that he would fear no man. It, that was it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? God, I pray that in his patience, he would possess his soul back. God, all keys uh, 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 and all authority in heaven and earth has been given unto Jesus. And so I, I pray, God, he sees this light of, of, of the authority of Jesus Christ, that he can take authority over the, the shadow of death. And we just take authority with him, God. We're going to keep feeding him, keep giving us words to give to him, to take him to the next level, take him to the next level, take him to the next level, where he can build up his hedge round about him, bind up the breaches. There's a seven-level progression model, Isaiah 30, 26. You want to bind up the breaches. How you bind up the breaches is you've got to be healed. The way you're healed is that you... You open your eyes. The eyes of your, uh, uh, of your heart is enlightened. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. So God, I pray that you give him a spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The eyes of his understanding being enlightened that he may know what is the hope of his calling. God, you have called all of us to live. You called all of us uh, to preservation, to healing, to sound of a sound mind. To, to be healed of misery and of bitterness, to be made whole. God, I just pray that your Holy Spirit would manifest, that the light of the hedge of protection would be round about him because he surrenders spirit, soul, and body to you, that he forsakes all. You have to let all go. If you let all go, you will find life. I'm talking the money the how everything you got from the deal from the devil you have to forsake all and i'm lighting up like i i, I can't even I, i'm telling you you have to lose every i lost everything i lost everything i stayed here i stayed here for everyone in california i laid down my life great no greater love than man has this than this that he lays down his life for his friends there's a friend that will stick closer than a brother. There's a friend that you can take hold and join in covenant with. That's how you expand. That's how you hold and join and you agree and you judge yourself so that you will not be judged. And you get a hold of the bread and the wine and you confess and judge yourself. And this is the body of Christ that was broken for you and his blood that was shed for you. And you eat the flesh and you drink the blood. Grab a cracker, grab the grape juice and you declare that's what it is. And you get into covenant with Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you declare that covenant and his exceeding great and precious promises that, that will help you escape the corruption that's in the world through lust. Your lust for power, your lust for uh, fame, your lust that you magnified yourself and it did cost you. And you, now you have to, to forsake all of it. It is not of God, it is of the world, it is of the spirit of error and is not true. This is the way out. This is the way out. So right, here's the next part of this. We're almost done. So that, that way that can be taught, the way it's taught in the scripture, excuse me, the way it's taught in the scripture, why is light given to a man whose way is hid? The, the way of light is hidden. It's hidden because it's a secret. It's a mystery. But the face of God, it says that when it's revealed, his Holy Spirit pours out unto you. When you see the face of God is when the Holy Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit comes is when he pours, and when he pours, he's manifest. When he's manifest, he's revealed. Uh, if you obey my commandments and live in my love, this is love in the Father, and I will love you and reveal myself to you. I will manifest myself to you. John 14, 21. John 15, 10, 11. If, it, if you love me, keep my commandments. And, sh and surely 
your cup of joy will overflow. Joy of the Lord is your strength. When you got that joy, it, flood, it floods out misery. It scatters misery. It scatters trouble. It scatters uh, the shadow of death. And then what's, what comes and what's gathered is the light and life and peace. And it's quiet and a sound mind. And that's when you know you're starting to get victory. You got to prevail and you got to go. You want to fight because you got to escape. So this is how you do it. Um, and don't trust everyone. Don't trust everyone. Uh, don't trust the people that call themselves Christians. You look at the fruit, their face will shine. They'll have a, a glow about them. And I'm not in uh, just, yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> Jeremiah 33, 3 to it. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Yep. I, you call upon him and he's going he's gonna to reveal these things to you. You know, Ask him to show you who these people are, who you're supposed Amen. to be around, who you're not supposed to be around. Tell him, show him, Lord, show me the, 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 the light on the people you want me to be with and the darkness on the ones you don't. Amen. Yeah, and Let that manifest on these people. Right. Uh, hold on. Okay, it's saved. Okay, so, all right, so... It says, I mean, I could use this too. Uh, why, why light is given to a man, it has to be given. And it says in John, I'm going to flip to it real quick. me over here right here it says no man can come to me except the father which sent me draw him God's drawing you in and I will raise him up at the last day this last day isn't some day on the calendar it's the, a day is a time is a season it's a, a season has to be birthed the way a season is birthed there's a first and a last the beginning and the end. It's a, it's, a, it's a scale, a measure of how a, to birth a pr the presence of God or the presence of the enemy, right? You have to birth it through the light of your countenance. God draws you into, to says, no man can come to me uh, uh, except the Father sent me draw him. Over here in verse 65, it says, therefore it said I unto you that no man can come unto me except we're given unto him of my Father. It's got to be given to you. I'm giving you the answers. God is sending me. I've been sent. I'm a sent one to all of people in Hollywood. I am that voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight your way. Make your paths straight unto the Lord. Every crooked way shall be straight and every valley shall be filled. Every mountain shall be brought low. Get ready for the presence of God. You have to prepare yourself, meaning you have to make the way because he already made the way. So you do your end to connect with God. You got to get the bread, the wine, the blood, the flesh. You got to confess, get your heart right. You need the gift of the Holy Ghost and you got to let go of everything. You let go of everything. It's going to be scary. Like, is this really me? If I can really do this? Yes. I am telling you, if you, you're going to have to run. You're going to have to get out. Um, but there's a season. There's a movement coming. It's already here. There, there's a lot of arrest coming. These people know it. The, the, I'm telling you right now, these people know they're going to prison for a long time. Uh, so. It's all or nothing. Uh, no, okay, on. Sorry, I got to unplug this. Why did it close? Don't know. Okay. Okay. So, sorry. It's all right. Um, so, there we go. So quickly. So no man can come to me except the Father draw him. He draws you by giving to you. So God is drawing you in. 
I'm giving you the steps to get, I'm giving you light. I'm giving you life. I'm giving you, I'm ordering your steps so you can make the connection and build up your hedge of light. So God's face will not be hidden from you. Okay. Cause if God's face is hidden, you're in trouble. If God's face is shown to you, you are safe. So you are going to have to, uh, uh, run from the hand of the enemy because you're weak. Right now, you, 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 you don't have the faith. You have too much, too many breaches. You got breach upon breach, and it's, it's, it's going to take a spirit of faith. So uh, it's going to take, it's going to, um, you want to just trust me. So um, every man that hath heard and learned of the Father cometh unto me, unto Jesus. So not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God. You, you can see, when you see, if you're of God, you can see the Father. The Father will show his face to you. It says, no man can see God and live. No man. That's anyone in Adam. Unplug from the first Adam. Plug into the last Adam. You need to plug into Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's the last Adam. He came as a carbon copy of the first. You unplugged from the first one. Plug into the last one. Um, and so... This is, this, is the, 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 this is the word. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. God, you have to join yourself to God. You have to rise up. You have to rise up from where you fell. Come, uh, you, 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 remember, remember from where you have fallen. You need to read the scriptures. I'm talking as much as you can. And, 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 don't make any covenants with anyone. Don't trust anyone. Like I said, I would just let go of everything. I would get out of Dodge. So just like the dream showed, I would, you know, and, and, and heaven, you need heaven to cover your tail. All your tails that you did, all the, the tail of the serpent, the tail of the serpent, all your ways that's snaky, you have to get off of that. So, um, Jesus, is there anything else? Um, fear God, depart from evil. Uh, my prayer for for you, Derek, is uh, they're going to make a cover story for you. Uh, I guarantee it. Um, that's why it, it can be spun. That's why I showed the the, the art of uh, the double entendre. You can take something and hide it. Um, they'll they'll say, hey hey, he's about this good stuff here, and this guy's crazy. He's dreaming about Derek. He's just some cult leader. Okay, I, they can say whatever they want about me. I, I'm prepared to, t you know, I'm a priest. I'll stand in the gap for you. Um, uh, they can say whatever. Uh, they, 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 uh, they did to Donald Trump. I don't care. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's the scribes and the Pharisees, woe unto you scribes, woe unto you Pharisees. This message is for you. You had the keys to life, the keys of David, and, and you hindered anyone that was trying to enter in, and woe unto you. And you took away the keys. You took away the keys and you yourselves won't enter in. So your woe is coming. Your woe is definitely coming. Because you're you're being you're yeah, it's over with. So those guys, yeah. The judgment, the wrath of God's coming on all you guys. That's what's coming next. Yeah. God's the curse uh and, and the, the curse is coming to swallow them up and the presence of God is coming on the face of the saints and that that's the wrath of God uh, it's already prophesied uh, we're heading into it I said there's coming many signs uh, there, 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 all this is about the, the scribes are working with the money changers they're uh, you know, like I said the apostles and prophets are it is a huge movement of of all the saints right now the entire church is rising up and so uh, it's coming against Hollywood. We're kicking the devil out of our nation. We're kicking Babylon out of our nation. Anyone that's in Hollywood right now uh, that hears the sound of my voice and this gets out to you, uh, you're in bed with the devil, get out. And uh, God will forgive you. Take all the same steps necessary. You need a strong hand. Uh, and you need to form cords with God's people. You know, there is... There is, yeah, there is people out there. They're not in LA. I can tell you that. Dude, I wouldn't even hold hands with anyone in, in California right now. So uh, I'm a voice of one crying in the wilderness. It is a dry, desolate place out here in California. And God's going to bring his water and flush out 
we're going to drain the swamp first and then next is coming is a great outpouring and so yeah so this is this is the message this is the next step i showed that you know you can't long for death you got to dig for the uh the treasures of of, of god's wisdom read proverbs uh read psalms and then which you rejoice exceedingly and are glad uh when you find when you rejoice and be glad when you find light in life so this is the, the oil of gladness so that's uh yep. I, this thing and get it in you yep you build up with it and this is the key to the light if you don't have this in there you don't have light right no god words no light right i'm going to end it here um uh on the camera uh you guys hold on and i'm going to send uh, i'm going to save this <laughs>